Hello everyone, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is another weekly vlog. Welcome to Monday. I have had a really good day so far. I'm like thriving, I'm enjoying life. My camera battery is dying right now, so one second we'll fix that. I decided I wanted to straighten my hair, so we are now in the bathroom. I think I'm gonna change out of this sweater because it is honestly really itchy. I'm not a fan of it, I feel like Ugh. So, okay, one more time. Okay, we're back. I got this sweater when I was in high school. I actually do not know if it's backwards or not because there's no tag on it. Wait, let's see. Unless it can just be either way. No, I think this is the right way. Why is there no tag on it? Oh no. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to Monday. I'm actually having a really good day today. Yesterday I had like a very relaxing but also productive day. So I feel like it just kind of set me off on the right foot for today. FaceTimed my friends Emma and Kiara last night and they are like the best type of friends. Like, do you know the very like low maintenance type of friends where it's like you don't me to talk to them every day but when you do talk to them it's like you pick up right where you left off and it just feels like no time has passed that is exactly what that was it was just so nice talking to them i just feel really good today i'm planning on filming a video that is why i've gotten ready for today but i'm also trying to get more ready throughout the weeks if you guys watched last week's weekly vlog i talked about how i was feeling really sick and i was really hard on myself that i was like it just sucks i feel like i'm not getting anything done just because i'm so sick like i don't want to be like laying around doing nothing all day but like i feel so sick and like I want to let myself rest and recover and I'm honestly so glad I did that because I don't feel 100% but I feel like 95 which is as good as it's going to get considering it was less than a week ago that I felt really sick so I'm really happy about that also, this is my new favorite hairstyle. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with this hairstyle. I'm not really feeling myself today, I must be honest. Mm, I don't know what it is, but I do love this hairstyle. <laughs> Okay guys, I am so beyond frustrated right now. So I'm trying to film my video. I'm trying to film like my Amazon favorites. Right as I start recording, construction starts right outside my apartment. I don't know what they're doing, but they're like drilling into something. I can literally see them. And like obviously they're not gonna stop drilling because of me, like it's not that big of a deal, but I'm like right when I start filming, you're kidding me. Thankfully that kind of stopped. It kind of goes on and off, but I've just been filming when it's not going on. I'm in the middle of filming the video, but I'm taking a lunch break and I made this. I kind of like meal prepped it on Sunday, which was yesterday. I saw a TikTok of someone making a pasta salad and it looked so good. So I have this one. Yummy. I'll tell you guys what's in it as I put it into the bowl. So it's a bow tie pasta. I have arugula. I have shredded chicken. I have tomatoes. And then I have like little mozzarella pearls. And then I did like a balsamic dressing vinaigrette. Oh, I just dropped some. Oopsie. <laughs> but that is what I'm eating for lunch. I made a big bowl so I can just eat it for lunch every day this week, which I think will save me a ton of time. My favorite part are the mozzarella pearl. I always like want to get extras of those. I think this is a really great lunch and obviously it's huge and I can just eat it for the rest of the week so I don't have to be worrying about lunch every day and I can just spend time working and not stressing. Yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit later, just finished filming my Amazon favorites video. I don't know if that video is already up, but if it is, I will link it down below. I think that the video went really well. We'll see. I'm going to edit it today. I'm honestly surprised that I finished filming it so fast. Sometimes I think that things always take me longer to film than they do. I'm excited that I got it done and we're going to start working on it right now. I apologize, today is probably not too exciting of a vlog day. I've been on a roll today though. I just finished rough cutting my Amazon video and now I'm rough cutting the weekly vlog and that always takes me a really long time. And I'm just like boom, 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 like knocking, not necessarily knocking them out cause like I edited one video and I'm starting another. But like I'm on a roll. Like you know when you get in the groove of something and you're like, I'm gonna keep going. Like I could stop, but I'm gonna keep going. And like, I just kept going. Obviously I'm not done. I'm grooving, I'm, that's so cringy. Not only, you know what, I need to cross this off my to-do list. I already finished everything on my to-do list day and more and more right crazy But tomorrow I think that I want to go to a coffee shop and get some work done Maybe just like a little change of scenery would be good for me I have my therapy appointment at 11 So then after that I think I'll like get ready and go to the coffee shop and i'm really excited for that Like that has like really been like getting me grooving too like looking forward to doing that I could do it today, but like i'm already on a roll I don't know if also it's because like i'm sitting on my bed doing it I sometimes feel unproductive being on my bed when I was in college. I never really had like a desk desk i had that desk there but it was not really great to work at because it's like a narrow desk so i always used to work on my bed even when i was in like high school and i was filming youtube videos and editing them like i would always do it in my bed so something about it just feels so like nostalgic i don't know it just feels good so i'm really happy that i'm getting everything done today i'm just in a good mood so yeah woo! happy about that but i'm gonna keep editing this weekly vlog oh look there's me in the reflection right there <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
It's just about six o'clock right now. I just finished editing. I've been editing for all day today, pretty much. I filmed and then I edited. I honestly have like a little bit of a headache from staring at a computer screen for so long. I'm starving. I was getting really hungry, but I was like, I'm gonna try to wait, wait it out so I can finish editing and then I'm gonna make food. I had two options. I was either going to make dinner or heat something up that I already had. And I'm gonna heat something up. This, this is the very last of a HelloFresh meal that I had. I have some garlic bread. I might want to make that because I don't think this is like enough food. But this was like a chicken lemon spaghetti pasta thingy. It was really good. I actually canceled my HelloFresh membership. I really liked HelloFresh and I liked all the meals that they had. There wasn't anything that I had that I thought was too hard to make or that was gross. My discount membership thing ended. I think one day I might go back to it. I've been having fun this week. Like I came up with a bunch of recipes that I'm so excited to make in this video. Stuff that I found like online. So I'm really excited to make those recipes this week. But I'm too tired today. So we're gonna heat this up. There's some zucchini in it. Let me look at my toast. The oven's gonna have to preheat for a minute. I'm gonna be done eating this by the time that the oven is done preheating, but that's okay. After being sick most of last week, I want to start prioritizing some healthier habits. So drinking water is something that I, this week, want to like drill into me. So what I've been doing, I only started doing this today. This isn't some groundbreaking thing, but I have this half gallon water bottle. If you guys remember, I did a video where I drink a gallon of water a week. This is my half gallon water bottle. I already drank a half gallon, maybe about three fourths of a gallon, a little bit less, but I filled this up one time and then I keep pouring it into my hydro flask just because I keep ice in this. I like drinking out of this thing more than I like drinking out of this thing, but this thing measures my water. I could do the mental math, but it's just easier to pour it in here than pour it in here. It might be extra step, but it saves mental math. This is my last half gallon of the day. I have a little bit more than about a fourth gallon left, but I've just been pouring it in my hydro flask and just trying to drink more water. And then I will just have this left after I finish this. Just trying to be healthy. Just trying to do everything that I possibly can to like bring me back to 100%. The one good thing about being sick though, and maybe this isn't the case for everyone or for like every type of sickness, but I feel like my immune system is always stronger after. So I just feel, I feel more powerful. I'm like, come at me world. Like I've already seen the worst. Not really. I love water. to do. My eyes hurt from staring at a screen all day, so I don't want to go on my phone. I don't want to watch TV. And honestly, I don't want to read a book. So I'm just kind of like, oh, wait, 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 let me, let me reenact it. I'm just kind of like, wait, what do I do with this? I'm just kind of like, like I, I'm not tired either. I just kind of am like, what do I do? I kind of want to like start like taking up knitting. Like that's something I've always wanted to do. And when I say always, I mean like a couple months ago, I thought that'd be fun to do. And it's been in the back of my mind for like two months now. So I guess not always. The thing about that is I have to learn how to do it and I hate learning how to do things. And I think it could be like self-improvement for me to try new things. I don't know. I really want to start doing hobbies that don't require any money, but literally living costs money. Like just breathing. I'm sure breathing costs money. Well, I've asked myself like, when I need an inhaler, that does cost money. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of like bored. <laughs> I wish I had someone to talk to, but at the same time, I don't like human interaction. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I have my therapy appointment in less than an hour, so I'm going to try to get a couple of things done. I have a video that I want to film tomorrow. I want to film my February reset video. I genuinely look forward to making those videos, so I kind of want to do an outline for that. Most videos I don't really do an outline for, like this video, like I'm just kind of taking you along my day. I do like in my head think like, okay, I, this was the last shot. How are we going to tie it into this one? Like things like that, like I'll kind of plan it as I'm going, but for videos like that, that. I like to plan it out, especially when I have like graphs and stuff like that that I show you of like my expenses and all that. But I want to show you guys what I made last night. So I wanted to make a vision board for my desktop computer. And I made a couple of like vision boards for 2023, but I wanted to make one that was like specifically for my desktop computer, one that like fit the dimensions of my desktop computer. And I'm really happy with this one. So I wanted to show it to you guys because I love it. And I'll show you guys what each thing means, okay? Here she is. So I don't know if you guys have seen like Lucky Girl Syndrome on TikTok, but I have this as 
I'm so lucky everything works out for me and I also made that my home screen okay you cannot see that my home screen on my phone but then I also wanted to put a couple things so I really want to work on clearing my skin I have like a tinted sunscreen on but this is kind of the worst my skin has been since before I was on Accutane I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person so that is like a really big goal that I have for myself this year is I really want to like work on clearing my skin back to my collage I put clear skin on there twice actually because that's like a really big goal of mine and then this is one photo it's like a bunch of like vintage camcorders I wanted that to just symbolize like creating and like creativeness and all that stuff and then these two are like couples I don't want to be in a relationship this is kind of like them having fun like I just want to have more fun that sounds weird you know what I mean I just want to like put myself out there and like go on dates have a good time but I don't want to get in a committed relationship I also have this because I really want to focus on my friendships I have this because you know this is like a little work you can't really see this computer money I would love money <laughs> I want to work out more and then I doubt that I'll hit a million subscribers this year who knows I'm so lucky everything works out for me maybe I will that's always like a goal that like you just go for so I wanted to put that on there and also match like the color scheme that's what I have on there honestly like I don't really have a lot of like career goals this year because I just feel like I don't really know what I'm doing I think my goal is like my inner self does that make any sense? I feel like I cannot speak today. I feel like there's a lot of like inner work that I want to do on myself this year. So that is that. But also, yeah, I'm not going on dates right now. I don't, my Hinge profile is not even active. This is what really sucks though about having bad skin. I just feel too insecure <laughs> to like put myself out there right now. And I don't want to do that. And I know that's like literally just me backtracking myself. Every time I put on makeup, I'm like, ugh. If you have really bad skin, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm so lucky. Everything works out for me. My skin is just so clear. I'm just going to keep telling myself those affirmations until they're true. I have a little bit more than 30 minutes before my therapy appointment, so I'm gonna try to plan out my video. Okay, just planned all of that out. I will have a video linked down below because I'm pretty sure, it's, yeah, I know for a fact it's uploaded before this, so that will be linked down below. Go check it out. I love making these videos. They're some of my favorite to make. So I just went over and I made all my goals and I prepped the video and then I like listed everything that I'm gonna talk about. I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna film it tomorrow. I can check that off my to-do list. I've been using my weekly to-do list. I also have the weekly extended. These are all the ones that I have in case you guys are curious. Weekly extended, weekly, daily, and then the everything. So I use all of them, but I've been using this one and I've been using like a blue pen with it. It's the little things, but I love, I'm focusing the camera with my nose right now, but I love like filling in the circles instead of checking them off. Something about it just feels so bougie. I don't know. I love it. I'll link these down below for you guys. Clearly I'm biased, but like having a weekly to-do list is the only thing that keeps me on track. The literal only thing. Just finished my therapy appointment. Now I'm eating my little pasta salad that I made. This was like the best idea that I've ever had making this. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get sick of it. There's so much in here. I will have it for the whole week and I don't have to like make lunch. I'm honestly not hungry, but I wanna go to that coffee shop and I know I will be starving if I don't eat before I go. My entire therapy appointment, we were actually talking about my anxiety about going to this coffee shop. It's not even like a special coffee shop. It's just like a random one. Will I find parking? Where will I sit? Like what if I can't find the Wi-Fi? Little things like that in my head, like we were we're just like talking about that but i'm going to eat my food it is freezing in my apartment i'm like shaking i'm so cold but yeah that's my update i'm gonna eat this and pack up for the coffee shop I'm trying to let my computer charge so i can have it be as like full of charge as possible and that's what we got going and that's what you missed on glee i am so cold i just turned the heat on ooh, 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 i'm shaking does anybody else feel anytime they go anywhere to work they bring their entire place over packing but like not for a vacation like for a coffee shop why do i hear a baby outside my door did you hear that kind of also sounds like a duck a little bit that really just threw me off i am shook also shaking because i'm cold but anyways like over packing <laughs> it's so hard to get back on my train of thought after i'm like what squirrel overpacking for a vacation is one thing but overpacking to go to the library the coffee shop like that literally i bring everything that i own so let's bring everything that i own in this backpack this would be a great sponsorship for like a backpack that has a lot of stuff do you hear the baby again this has been sitting in my the back of my closet so there is a nice layer of dust okay i want to let my computer charge as long as possible while we do this i'm literally going to bring my purse and put my purse inside of this it has my car keys it has my chapstick it has my tissues Headphones. Necessity. 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 Next up, my hard drive, obviously. We're gonna be editing videos. I am also going to bring two colored pens. This blue one, because I'm bringing my to-do list, and this blue one is for my to-do list, and this black one for anything else. 
I'm also going to bring my journal. I could write notes in this, but this will probably be just in case I want to journal. I don't know. This is not necessarily, this is more of like an overpacking thing. I don't really need the journal, but like I'm gonna bring it anyways. I could bring, what is in here? What? Oh, nothing, just kidding. False alarm. I could bring my book, but I don't think I'll read. I don't see myself reading. What else do I need? Like, should I bring snacks? I'm gonna bring my water bottle, even though I will be getting coffee there, so is that a necessity? I'm gonna bring my laptop, my laptop charger. Should I bring a phone charger? I don't know if I need a, what, what percent is my phone at? It's at 80. I should be fine. Um, anything else? I feel like there's like a million other things that I'm forgetting. Because normally this is like packed. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. So laptop charger. I'm gonna wrap her up. Okay, throwing that in there. I have my laptop. And then we're literally gonna grab my purse. I think why I'm not putting so much stuff in there is because normally I'd empty out my purse. Normally I'd be like, okay, my keys, my tissues, my car keys, my chapstick. Maybe should I? Should I just do it? No, I'm just gonna bring my whole no, I think it's maybe excessive to bring my whole purse. Um, oh, I also need to bring my lap my camera and my tripod and I think I'm gonna bring an extra battery should I bring an extra SD card because I don't know if we're gonna run out space I need to stop talking I literally sometimes I'm like shut up Keegan should I bring an extra hair tie no I already have I have one on my hair one on my wrist I don't need an extra hair tie I think I have everything I hope I have everything wait no I don't have the extra camera battery okay <laughs> extra camera battery extra SD card I literally could I'm like packing okay do I have everything I hope I have everything I'm gonna pee and then we're gonna go to the coffee shop okay Okay, break. I'm also gonna fill up my water before I go to. So I hated every second of that. That was horrible. I feel like I got nothing done. So I have worked in coffee shops in the past with my friends and I can like really zone in, but the music in there was so loud. Like I can work with like people talking, like that's not a big deal, but they were like blasting really, really loud music. And I even put in like my noise canceling headphones and I could still hear it through my noise canceling headphones. I was trying to read something and I just like couldn't, like I just wasn't retaining any of the information. Oh, there's a bug on my windshield. Nope, go away. It's not going away. I couldn't focus. I tried to stay there for as long as I could and like really get in the zone. Cause like once I'm in the zone, I'm fine, but I just couldn't do it. Maybe I'll go to another coffee shop another day. I kind of just feel like I wasted my time and money, which is very frustrating, but that's okay. At least I tried something new. That's the outlook that I'm trying to have on it. At least I'm like one step closer to finding a like a working place that works for me. I like like libraries and stuff. I feel like it's weird to go to the ASU one cause I graduated and I don't really know if there's a public library. I think there is, but I, I don't know if I want to go there i don't know i also wanted to like get a time lapse footage of me working but i was like sitting at like a big communal table with like a bunch of like people near me so i didn't want to like whip out my camera and like they would be in the background i just thought that would be like inappropriate i don't know i never want to film people without their consent sometimes i accidentally do it and i always feel really bad if i'm aware of it i don't want to do it so basically it was a flop we flopped today but i'm gonna go home and work because i still have a ton to do i was probably there for like an hour and a half and i honestly wish i would have just left earlier i was like really just trying to like get through it but i just like couldn't focus with the music it was too hard kind of all over the place but we're about to go home now and that's okay we flopped but we'll slay when we get home <laughs> Okay, so I saw something when I was at the coffee shop on my computer and I wanted to tell it to you guys, but it revolves a backstory. So this is a like dating story. And I always debate if I should tell you guys my like dating stories. I don't know if you guys care. I don't know if it's oversharing. Part of me thinks like if I do share those stories, I feel like it should be like on TikTok. It's like, I don't know how to like incorporate it into these videos. I also feel like for some reason, TikTok feels like less permanent. Although that will be on the internet. Just as this will, like something about it. But if you guys want to know my dating stories or my dating fails, let me know. I'm currently like I said my hinge profile is paused so I'm not like meeting anyone right now when I go out like with my friends and stuff I meet random guys but I have stories from when I was like in my dating era a couple months ago so this is a story and I'm bringing this up because of something I found out today a couple months ago like I think this was like back in September so keep this in mind I met this man on hinge him and I vibed so well like we just like really hit it off and we had a date planned I had to cancel the date or like I had to reschedule it because something really important came up one of those things where it's like I have to like I don't want to and I was really excited to go on this date with this guy and he made me feel so bad for canceling this date like and I already felt bad and like keep in mind I was trying to reschedule like I apologize I was like I'll find a date that works for both of us like I'll plan something like I was like I'll do whatever I feel so bad for canceling it but like I have to cancel reschedule it whatever he made me feel so bad he just like kept bringing it up and I was like okay Red flag number one. He had a couple of red flags and I can't think of all of them off the top of my head. Red flag number two though. This was like the reason that I was like, I'm done with this man. He was like very like territorial and jealous and I hadn't even met him in person yet. He would say something, he's like, oh, are you busy tonight? I'm like, oh yeah, like I have plans. And he's like, oh, with like all your other boyfriends, like, oh, all the other guys you're talking to are like, oh, you're going on a date with another guy. And I was like, 
I don't know. For someone I had never even met in person yet, I was like, this is like a little mutt. It just seemed like a really big red flag to me. And he had no proof that I was talking to the other guys. Like he had literally no proof. He had like quite a string of red flags. Like he just too much. I don't know. So I stopped talking to him. I actually ran into him at a bar. I was like, this is so weird now that I think of this. Like kind of ballsy of him to do this. This was like Halloween weekend, Halloween weekend. And I was with one of my friends and we were both like talking to these two random guys. So I was like just talking to this one man one on one. And the guy comes up to me and he was like, do you remember me? And honestly, I did remember him, but I kind of froze in the moment and I pretend like I didn't remember him, which I feel bad about. He kind of scared me almost. Like, I don't know how to explain it. The way that he was so like territorial over me and like possessive, even though he had never met me, I was like, I'm scared that I'm now meeting this man in person. But like kind of bold that he went up to me while I was talking to another guy. But yeah, I did pretend like I didn't know him. I was drunk too. So like it, my mind wasn't working very well. Where I'm getting at this whole story with was this guy had so many red flags and did things. Right when I was like, I'm over this, I'm done talking to him, he started adding me on every single form of social media possible. Instagram, TikTok, he added me on Be Real, on Snapchat. Like it was just like he was adding me on every single platform possible after I was done talking to him. And the reason I bring this up was because today I checked my LinkedIn and I scrolled down to like all my connections and he connected with me on LinkedIn. Like he tried to connect with me on LinkedIn. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, that was a bullet that I dodged. I don't know, when a girl stops talking to you, maybe don't add her on LinkedIn. I This was months ago, keep in mind. But I just saw that notification, so I had scrolled down, and I was like, there is no way this man added me on LinkedIn. Like he also added me on like Venmo, I think. Like, he added me on the most random forms of social media, like anything where he had my phone number, he added me on it, and I was like, it kind of scared me if I'm being honest and I immediately like all caps texted my friends I was like, oh my god, do you remember this man? Just had to tell you guys that story. That wasn't my best story. It wasn't my best delivery But let me know if you want more because I have more <laughs>
Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm in the best mood, maybe not ever. I don't know, this week I've been feeling really good and I'm really happy about it. I will say though, I've had a couple things in my life that I'm like, my therapy appointment ended yesterday, closed my laptop, shit started hitting the fan, like left, right. I'm like, I could use my therapist help with this stuff. Aside from all that, I'm doing good. Clearly, I am ready for the day. I just filmed my February reset video that is already up. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. The only thing that I've left to do is film like the cleaning portion of it. And I was going to do that, but I am hungry. So we're gonna get some food first. But I'm just like in a really good mood today. I'm like really happy. I will say when I was putting makeup on, it like hurt my self-esteem that my skin was bad, but I, I'm trying to look at it from a positive outlook. Built character. I don't know, but I went to the gym this morning. This was the first time that I went to my regular gym. I've been walking on the treadmill like for two days in a row. Whoa, and I'm like, whoa, look at me. I'm like a cardio queen. No, just kidding. I went to my regular gym today and I did like my weightlifting classes that I do and it was so good and like it just made me feel so accomplished. I haven't done it in a week because I was sick. Even like the trainer, she was like, I haven't seen you in a minute. And I was like, I was sick, but I'm good now. Don't worry, like I'm not gonna get anyone sick. It just felt nice like doing something, feeling accomplished. I think that's why I'm in like such a good mood. Cause like I just started off the day with like a really good sense of like pride and joy being proud of myself i also have been stretching in the morning why did my I've also been stretching in the mornings. I will put on like a five minute or a 10 minute stretching YouTube video. I did a five minute one today, but it's just like the little things that I'm telling myself that I'm gonna do it. I'm actually doing it. And I'm really proud of myself that I'm like holding myself to it, but I'm gonna get my food because I'm hungry. We're gonna go for the pasta salad again. I will say I'm running out of like the little like mozzarella balls in this because I've been eating all of them and that's my favorite part. So it's just like not as exciting when there's like not as much of your favorite part. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I hope that you guys are having a good day. Obviously, you've been watching this video this whole time. I'm feeling good. I, how many times can I say that though? <laughs> I am going to do this and then I'm going to film the part of my video where I clean my apartment and then I'll probably start editing it. I've been filming some TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok. I'm giving my little pasta to sell it a little mixy doodah. Did I tell you? I think I told you guys what's in this, right? I hope I did. I'm not gonna say it again because I don't want to bore you guys. Ooh, I just spilt everywhere. I have like a little mozzarella ball. We're gonna add that in there. Ah, I spilt it all over my counter. Good thing my counter's clean. I'm gonna eat this, maybe clean a little. I'll check in with you guys. Today has really gotten away from me, so I apologize for not vlogging too much today. Sometimes I feel like when I wear makeup, it looks like my lips disappear. But I'm not like a lip person, like I don't like lipstick, so it just, you know. I am debating some things right now. Here's what I'm debating, what I should eat for dinner. <laughs> Hear me out on this, okay? Last night I made that pecan crusted chicken. Pecan, pecan! You know when like you're just so used to saying something but then you want to change it but it's like so normal I'm gonna tell you a side story and this always happens every single time I tell a story But do you know how most people or at least people in my generation we would go like this for like phone calls I feel like people do this now like the kid the kids these days they do this But like we used to do this I train my brain to go like this because that's what Taylor Swift does because that's how she would hold her guitar pick and do it She would go like this so I have trained my brain that I now do this like I don't even think about it I, I don't even do this I do this also this just like fits better you know like it just it works better anyways so if i can train my brain to do this i can train my brain to say pecan pecan is the word of the video comment down below pecan <laughs> oh shh. i'm wearing socks and i just like slid into a bit all splits but as we know i'm the least flexible person so i was like this far off the ground i like popped my hip and everything <laughs> Also, one second. Okay, I'm back. In the bathroom, in my like laundry room, there's like a constant fan going on. Like, do you know how you turn the fan on in the bathroom? That's always going and there's no way of turning it off and it just bothers me when I can hear it because I'm like, I know what's in the background of my videos making static. We need to get to the point because I am rambling. My dinner options. Okay, so here's what we have. I made the pecan, pecan chicken last night. And the thing about that is, the pieces of chicken that I used were very thick pieces of chicken and I should have like cut them in half or like pounded them down a little bit, I didn't. They were in the oven for like 10 minutes longer than they should have. And I'm not even 100% sure that they are fully cooked. I used my meat thermometer and it should be at 165 and I think they were at 160. This is so embarrassing. This is why I didn't show it last night. I just cut the end pieces off of the chicken because I made two chicken breasts so I can have like 
like one for dinner last night, one for dinner tonight. I cut the like the end pieces that were already cooked because they were thinner. Cut both of those off and ate that last night so it equaled a whole chicken. And then I kept the two big parts that I was not possibly sure if they were fully cooked all the way through. And I didn't eat those and I saved those for tonight. So I am nervous that like, will I get salmon vanilla? And yes, I do know it's not pronounced salmon vanilla, but I think it's funnier calling it salmon vanilla than simonella. So we do call it salmon vanilla in this household. I'm like, okay. Do I possibly risk salmon vanilla? And like, I just got over being sick. Or, or, my two options. One of you guys tagged me in um, a TikTok about Chick-fil-A. That just sounds so good. Or... Thai food because I also just saw a TikTok about Thai food and I love pad thai and my friend also made pad thai last night I definitely do not have the ingredients to make pad thai by myself here so I'm like do I get food or wait why did I like low key just do like a really wide push up <laughs> do I get food or do I risk the salmon vanilla I was hoping that if I put it in the microwave it would like not only reheat it but cook it more but I don't know if that's how it works I'm gonna show it to you guys it's not like pink it's not I don't know so embarrassing this is what it looks like. <laughs> like they were just like really fatty pieces. It honestly looks so dry too. I don't think I can eat this. I want to. I don't want to waste food, but I don't know if I want to eat this. It looks kind of gross. I mean, it's probably super dry because it was in the oven for like 40 minutes. I mean, that might be, maybe 30. I think it was probably, no, I think it was 40. We're throwing it away. <laughs> So I just feel bad for wasting food and like wasting money and then now I have to buy stuff But like also I don't think I want to risk it I do have food that I could make here tonight, but I think that I actually want to make that tomorrow You know what? I'm gonna make it pad thai or should I get chick-fil-a chick-fl-a is just there's not one that's like close to me The closest chick-fl-a is as close as the pad thai restaurant chick-fl-a is cheaper Pad thai will fill me up more pad thai will take longer kind of craving the pad thai These are the things that we worry about, you know, we live a good life if this is what I'm like these are my contemplations of the day. My favorite place is called Thai Basil. It's in Tempe, which is my college town. And honestly, I don't even mind driving there because it's so good. I'm doing it. Screw it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be ready in 10 minutes because it's like five o'clock right now. It's definitely early for food, but I'm starving. I'm really hungry. Okay, so we're gonna put on pants because I'm wearing pajama pants and then we're gonna go in the car and we're gonna get our pad thai. And yes, this is a great move. This was a great move. It will be ready before I even get there. Yes, slay. Slay the house boots down. Got my order, tofu pad thai, so good. I actually made the wrong turn, as I do quite frequently, because I'm horrible with directions. And I had to make a U-turn, and so I was pulling into my old apartment complex. Actually, I'll show you guys. My junior year apartment, the one that screwed me over, if you guys recall. This is the place, this was my unit right here. Top floor, 13th floor, the corner unit. I think my bedroom was like that one right there. But I pulled into the apartment complex, and I was gonna like turn around and like go through that way instead of making a U-turn. And I literally forgot that I do not know how to drive with pedestrian because like every time I would try to go like there'd be an opening like someone would cross the street and then I couldn't go and it was so frustrating how do you guys do it people that like live where there's a lot of pedestrians because I feel like I could never leave if I go now I'm gonna hit a pedestrian and then if I go a second later I'm gonna hit a car like it was like a lose-lose situation if you guys live somewhere where there's a lot of pedestrians like what do you do like how do you make a turn or there's so many people I like forgot how much people lived here in Tempe because I mean for two years of my college experience it was COVID so like no one was going to campus so there wasn't a lot of pedestrians like when I lived in this apartment, it was like when all school was online. So like no one was really going in person. So there was no pedestrians really walking around. I mean, maybe a few, but like really not really. Really not really. Really not many. I was like, wow. Honestly, glad that I didn't have to deal with that when I lived here. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go home and eat our tofu pad thai. My mouth is in fact watering. Oh God, I need to eat this. I'm like dying on the inside. It's like it's not as good as normal. Oh shit, it's spicy. <laughs> Why does it taste different? I don't know. <clears throat> tofu? Mm, I love tofu. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Good night. See you tomorrow. Maybe maybe we'll still vlog. Who knows? Okay, we have a couple of packages. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start with the one I'm more excited about. Sephora. So I got a Sephora gift card for Christmas. It didn't cover this entire order, but it covered some of it. And I wanted to get these things. I've been wanting them for a while. I tell myself if I want something for over a month, then I think I'm okay with getting it. Main thing that I got was the Makeup by Mario foundation. Oh, this is gonna be way too dark. I already know this is not gonna be my shade. This is way too dark. Holy, yeah. So I did the color matching online, the foundation.
foundation that I'm currently wearing on my face I did like a color match of it online to see like what the equivalent was for this This is like straight shimmer I don't know if you guys can see but like there is literal shimmer in this you can kind of see it there Like that's not the packaging. That's like the product in it. You know what? We're gonna compare this to my foundation that I use on my face today I might have to exchange it for a different shade. I also got the Kosas concealer Everyone always raves about this so I wanted to check it out. I'm afraid this is gonna be too light. Oh no Well, oh yeah, no these are not even close. I mean, no. <laughs> so the thing about me is color matching online is not my forte. I'm excited to try these out. Hopefully they'll do a better job covering my acne. I also got more of the Warm Wishes bronzer stick. I am in the shade Power Boost. This is like the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I'm almost out of mine, so I wanted to get another one. My first one was sent to me in PR in full transparency. This is so good that I wanted to get another one because it was running low. And then I also got, this is the last thing that I paid for. Everything else is like free samples. Is it called Sol de, Sol de Janeiro? I always see Emily. I don't know if you guys follow Emily Kaiser on TikTok. Low key, not to flex. I've been following her since she had like 10,000 followers. She had like a side part when I started following her. So like not to flex, but like I'm an OG. I honestly think that like I am such like a silent viewer. I don't know if any of you guys are like this too, but like I stand people, but I will never comment on their stuff. Which is funny because like I love when people comment on my stuff. Like it makes me so happy to respond to your guys' comments. It's like my favorite thing. I try my very best. I'm not perfect, but I try my very very best to respond to every comment, but like I never comment on people's stuff. I probably should start. I don't know. I get in my head about it, but she always talks about this perfume. Or should we try it? Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, it smells very familiar. Wait, this is pistachio and salted caramel? Interesting. Interesting. And then I got this little gift set because this size was the same price as all of this. I think this was maybe like $3 more and it came with more stuff. So I was like, yeah. It also came with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I hear everyone talking about. This is obviously like a really small size. Whoa. Did you see all... Holy shit, this smells so good. I feel like I've been swearing a lot in this video. Sorry if you're not a fan of the swearing. Holy crap, haha. <laughs> that smells real good. Okay, I'm about to moisturize tomorrow with all of that. And then it also came with this moisturizing, moisturizing shower cream gel, like a shaving lotion, or if this is just like a shower gel. This is like a thick, okay, I understand. This stuff smells good, it's very thick. Thick. I don't know if I'd ever wear this in the summer because I feel like it would just be too much of the smell of my sweat It's very heavy if that makes any sense the scent of it But I do really like this, you know right as I bought this she posted a tiktok and she's like I just tried this other scent that they have and I think I might like it more than this one So I'm like great emily come on. No, i'm just kidding. This was a free gift with purchase. This look beautiful Oh my gosh the natasha denona retro glam palette. This is in the shade flutter. Oh my gosh This was one of those like codes. Do you guys see that? I feel like it's not picking up on camera Camera. It's like beautiful. Oh, creepy. Yes. Oh, it's kind of like a cool tone and I prefer more of like a warm tone I think it might be too light for what I like because I kind of like like a warmer. Ooh, blend it out Ooh, do you guys well, maybe that's still like a little white. I can make that work It's just like a very pretty shimmering color and then we got some samples samples They used to give you three now. They give you two. So I got the Shiseido foundation and a bunch of shades My favorite tiktoks recently have been um women of color showing like the lack of shade what's the word not transparency do you know the like representation i guess that foundations have Ooh, okay you know what this one <gasps> wait did i seriously get i already own this why did i do this this is the foundation that i use every day this is the foundation that i use today i don't think i meant to get the sample of this i think that they traded it so this is the foundation that i use today but okay great they do have a lot of shades slay for the foundation that i use okay i would love to see that tiktoker that i'm obsessed with that that does these videos to see if they have a shade in this that would be for her. I smell so good. Oh my gosh, guys. This stuff smells incredible. Okay, the last thing that I got is from Amazon. So, if you guys remember my Eros Tour outfit, a couple videos back, it was like a sparkly star skirt, but it's see-through. So I needed something to wear up top and I needed something to wear under it. I wanted to find like a little midnight blue matching set, like skirt and top. And I couldn't find like a midnight blue one, but I did find this royal blue one. And I thought, ooh, this is soft. This is soft, soft. I'm kind of nervous about this. It's like a little like tank top bra, which makes me nervous, I will admit, because these things don't normally look great on me. And then this matching skirt. It has like a nice ruching in the butt, and I thought that I could wear this under the star skirt. This is very soft. I will link all this stuff down below as I always do. 
or as I always try to do. This is really soft. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is like skims material. I think that I am getting glitter from the eyeshadow all over this though. So we'll try this on tomorrow after I did not just eat a huge thing of pad thai. Trying on clothes after you just ate is not the, the time to do it. Like I'm all for body neutrality. Sometimes you just have to know yourself and you gotta know. I'm not gonna feel my best self. This stuff smells so good. The longer it's on me, the more I like it. It's a very strong scent. Like sometimes when I spray perfumes, I spray them, I smell them, but then it goes away. This lingers. This smells so good. I love this. I wonder if they have a pure scent of this. This is great. Slay the house boots down, my new favorite thing to say. We'll try this again during the daylight, but we're gonna see if this foundation is the same color as my other one. Let me turn on the light. Remember how I said that my room is really yellow and warm tone? I meant it. It's in this great lighting. Here, this is my little college dorm lamp. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, this just does not even look like it would anywhere match me even if I have a cell tan. No, absolutely not. Absolutely freaking not. This is not it. They literally on, oh my gosh, on Sephora, they said that this was the match for this. No freaking way. You're kidding me. Oh, what? I will be going back to Sephora and returning this. It's really upsetting. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I cannot believe that it is. Yes. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Where was I going with this? <laughs> I can't believe it's Thursday. This week has flown by. So I just uploaded my video and then I have it all set. I made the thumbnail. I like did all the description stuff and I'm really happy about it. So last night I obviously got that foundation that is way too dark for me. And I was like, dang it, I really wanted to like use it this weekend. Like now I have to wait till the weekend to return it. And then I was like, wait, I am my own boss. I have no set hours. I could literally go to the mall and return it in the middle of the day if I wanted to. So I'm going to. So I just did everything that I needed to. I'll show you guys my thumbnail that I really like. This is her. I took all these photos today, edited them, and then made the thumbnail. I think it turned out really cute if you ask me. But who am I to judge? I'm obviously very biased because I made it myself. Taylor Swift is releasing the Lavender Hate music video. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a really good day. I'm getting ready for the day and I wanted to try out the Kosas concealer. I'm nervous about this shade match, but we'll see how it goes. Everybody is obsessed with this concealer. Ooh, woof. Did you guys hear the dog? Okay, I feel like that's not too bad of a shade match now that I think of it. Like, I feel like it looked maybe, I don't know, lighter in the tube. This is how I like to apply my concealer. Here, here, here. Like a little triangle almost. And then I'm using, this sponge is actually, it's not damp, it's dry. And I know that I should dampen it, but I don't because I'm lazy. I know something about like damp. Ooh, oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. I love that. I'm afraid that this is gonna not be my shade when I'm not tanned. I mean, summer's coming, right? <laughs> wow, I love that. That blended so well. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, I have this little break out here. I'm gonna like do this on my finger so I don't get any of the, you know, bacteria. I wonder if it'll cover it. I love this. Wow, that was great. Oh my God, wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> I know that this might sound dramatic, but that was amazing. I feel like that like covered all of my dark circles. I will say I'm nervous that it's already creasing on me, but maybe I just applied a little too much. Like maybe I'll go for like a lighter hand next time. And then I've been using these little puffs that I feel like everybody has been using. I'll link them down below to set. Oh, it's, it's already creasing. I do have like pretty deep set creases under my eyes. Oh yeah, it's already creasing. Like within the five seconds I've had it on. Do you guys see it creasing on my eyelids? She creases quick, okay. Oh yeah, now it, this is even creasing too. Too. Under my eyes, we're gonna pat it out and then we're gonna set it really quickly. <laughs> I will say that that looked really pretty. Like it didn't look cakey and it gave a lot of coverage. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I will say the spot that I covered is you can still see it. I don't know though. I'm happy with it. I really like that. I'm going to finish getting ready, but I will try the Natasha Denona eyeshadow as well. I'm always a little nervous to go into Sephora because I feel like they're going to judge me on my makeup skills, which as they should. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're going to use this eyeshadow and I thought that I would, I don't know, because it's like almost white. kind of just wanted to like tap the glitter reflexes on but without any of the base color. I feel like it's like literally a white eyeshadow. See, it's a little lighter than I like for my lid color. 
I mm -hmm, no, I'm not into it. I think that I would use it for like okay, wait, a little. See, I think the glitter's too chunky for an inner corner moment as well. I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I'm not actually like really good at this stuff. Just kind of messing around, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. We're gonna do mascara. We're gonna use the mascara that is in drama. This is the Maybelline Telescopic Lift. If you guys are on TikTok, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. And if you're not on the side of TikTok that I'm on, honestly, consider yourself lucky. But I do guarantee that like the whole drama about this mascara is probably passed by the time this video goes live because like the wave cycles or maybe it hasn't who knows i'm not really great at predicting trends this is such a great mascara though look at it oh, so pretty stunning stunning queen Slay. Slay. So my purse broke. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like the zipper is not really working. You know, what? I'll just show it to you. So I have like the foundation and the receipt in here. And this has been happening a lot recently, like for the past like two weeks, every single time I zip it. If this works, I'm gonna, oh, you can kind of see it's better than what it normally is, but it doesn't like zip all the way. I'll do it like a million times. Like, I'll like Ooh. And I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it doesn't. This is actually an improvement. You can kind of see how it opens. So I just ordered um, a purse that's like almost identical to this on Amazon. You can even see like, I should stop touching. I should stop touching it. I just ordered like an almost identical purse to this. I've had this for like three years now. So I mean, this held up pretty well. But I'm just going to keep the zipper like there. It won't see. You can like see it's like doing it more and more. Ah! Mm -hmm. I don't really have another purse. Well, actually I do. You know, I'm going to do it, but basically more of the story is I did order a new bag. So the goal for this shopping trip to the mall, I want to exchange that foundation for one that is my shade. I'm nervous that they won't have it because number one, it's new. So I'm afraid they won't have the display for it. And I'm also worried that if they do have the display for it, it will be like sold out in certain shades just because it's like a new product that a lot of people are wanting to try. And then I want to try to find a cute little shirt or something. I have a photo shoot for my merch coming up and I wanted to take a new profile photo for YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. Cause the one that I have, I was 19 years old, 19 in it. And that was just a really long time ago. I'm almost 23. I'm like, while we're here, I would love to take a new photo. I feel like I look like I don't have any lips. Like this just keeps happening to me. So I want to find a nice little something, something to wear. Cause I don't really have anything in my closet that like screams my name. So we will see if we find anything. I will bring you guys along as I do. This is the purse that I switched to. It is a fake purse. Do not be fooled. This is not real. I got it on a Facebook page. I'm always nervous to like carry around purses like this. Even though they're fake, I'm like, what if people think they're real? Like something about like being robbed always scares me. Like I'm always nervous that I'm gonna get robbed. I don't know why that's like an irrational fear of mine, but that is an irrational fear of mine that like someone's gonna like hijack my purse. And like I also live in a really safe area, so like that's not gonna happen, but it possibility. It could, it could. Anyways, let's go shopping. <laughs> I got the foundation. So I don't know if you guys saw in the little montage footage that I got. I basically went up to the foundation that I use on a daily basis. I had the hardest time finding that place. The little like, what's it called? Like thingy, little station display for it in the store. I had the hardest time finding it, but I finally found it. And I put like a little pump of the foundation that I, I just spit. I don't know if you guys saw that. Say it, don't spray it. I had the hardest time finding it, but I put a little pump of that foundation that I use in the shade on the back of my hand. And then I went over to the Mario foundations. And then I was just trying to like find what was similar to that the mario foundations are so yellow and i'm like a very pink toned person my undertones are very pink not very yellow so i kind of struggled i got the shade 5n which the one that the like website color matched me to was 10c so five shades darker than this i really do not like going into sephora in the store every time i go in there i just feel like the workers are like so mean to me i'm sure they're really nice people and they're just having a really bad day every time i go in i don't know if anyone else is like that but, like I just like don't want to believe that people are like rude or mean like I'm just like they're having an off day that's always what I want to tell myself and I'm sure they were the lady that was like checking me out like would not make eye contact with me and then do you know there's always like a lady that like stands or a man just an employee that like stands at like the entrance when I was leaving I like looked over to her and I was like oh have a nice day like I hope your day's going well and she was like uh-huh like I, what did she say she, she like looked me up and down and she was like mm-hmm you too like and it was like in a really condescending tone and she gave me a dirty look and I was like did 
did I do something wrong? So now I'm like in my head. I'm like, I thought I was trying to be nice. Things like this always happen where like I try to be nice and then I overthink it. And then I'm just like, was I rude? Like I try not to be, but like maybe like I, that was like not like the social cue that I was supposed to do. I don't know. I'm in my head. This lighting is driving me insane. Is this better? You can't really see me though. So, um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna, maybe. Oh, I've never put you here. Oh no, I cannot put you there. You will not. Oh, I just turned my blinker on. That's so embarrassing. Cause like there's someone sitting in their car. I'm like, they definitely just saw me putting my blinker on. Anyways, I went into Abercrombie because Abercrombie is like really the only store that I really shop at to buy clothes. I want to find more stores that with my style, but Abercrombie is always a go-to and they just didn't really have anything. The in-store, like the one they have here at the Scottsdale Mall, they just don't really have great stuff. Like online is really where it's at. And when I was in there, I remembered a couple dresses that I had when I went to Europe that I really liked that I could wear in the photos. And the photo shoot's not until next weekend, so I have some time in case those don't work out. So I'm hoping for the best, so I'm not too worried about it. But they didn't really have anything like called my name. They had like a lot of cutie blazers. Like I didn't want a blazer, you know? I just feel like I would never wear it. I would love to wear a blazer. I just don't feel like it fits into my lifestyle. Like I think they're cute. They just don't really like work with like, you know, with what I do on a daily basis or like even infrequently. You guys hear how broken my hydro is? I tried to buy a Stanley on Amazon, but they were all sold out. The ones, the color that I wanted and the size. Anyways, we're gonna go back home and we're going to edit my reset video. I did the like rough cuts yesterday And so I'm gonna go in and like add all the text and the effects and like, you know, spruce it all up Whoa. Whoa. Excited to do it. We're about to compare this foundation to the foundation that I own. We'll see how this goes they're definitely different tones and this one still might be a little bit darker. They're closer than the last one So I consider that a win and I can use my new Kosas concealer to lighten it up if I need to It still might be a little too dark though, but whatever. We're over it. We're over it Okay, you guys before we start editing the video or I guess continue editing the video We have a couple things on our to-do list that I'm very very excited for this has been in my package locker room all week and I had no idea I randomly was curious when it was gonna come and it was like a delivery on Monday and I was like why didn't you tell me but this is the photo that is going above my cap. You guys remember, I think it was in the last vlog, I got the frame, I ordered the photo. I'm a little nervous for this because the print that I got was not like sized to be this big. It was sized to be a little smaller, so let's hope that this works out. I hope it's not blurry and I hope it looks good because it was kind of expensive because it was like a, you know, a bigger print, you know? Wow, they really got this shut very nicely. Oh my gosh. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> we are not opening it the way they say it to. How do they expect people to do that? I am just a young girl, a teenage girl, only 22 years old. I'm almost 23. That blows my mind. It just never ends. <laughs> oh, it is small. Is this it? I hope so. Are we ready? Drum roll. Actually, before we drum roll, I need to cut it, but I'm nervous to cut it because it's like, it's taped really shut, really tight. I was like, it's blank. I was like, they literally sent me a white photo. This is it. It's like a digital artwork of a painting. It is a little blurry, but not by much. I mean, it's, you know, big. We're gonna put it in the frame. I'm so excited for this. Let's do it. First and foremost, we have to take this out of the packaging or the plastic wrap. I have no idea how I'm gonna hang it, especially all alone. I'm sure one of my friends would come over and help me if I asked, but... Oh, that's it's literally just my butt. There wasn't even my face in it. <laughs> Hi, this is my face. In case you forgot what it looked like. Did you hear that? That was a cool noise. I hope this fits and it was the right size. I had a custom order the print. Okay, we're gonna try this. First things first, we take the back off. Why does this like low key hurt my finger? This is about to be really satisfying. Yeah. That was great. That was incredible. Okay, now I have to flip it and do the other side. That like made my brain feel crunchy. So far it fits. Oh, ow, that really just poked me. Oh, it fits beautifully. Good thing, because I custom ordered it. 
Wait, I'm gonna see how it looks. Before I close them all up, I'm gonna see how it looks, okay? Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it. As if you haven't already, like, kind of seen it. <laughs> I think I'm going to command strip this to my wall instead of like using nails. I'm just nervous doing it alone, honestly. And I think that command strips are a safer bet if I mess up, I can just, you know, take them off. It's not poking holes in the wall, but I don't have any command strips. Okay, I'm gonna show this to you guys. Isn't it lovely? No, I'm just kidding. What do you guys think? Oh, I like it. Oh, you can like really see me. Is this too reflective of a glass? Oh, I don't know if about that. Oh, I thought that was like a footprint almost. I think it's really nice that like there's some blue and there's some green so it kind of like ties this in. I think it's really beautiful. I really like it. So it's basically like a digital artwork of like a vintage painting. I don't know if it's like actually a vintage painting, but it's supposed to look like a vintage painting. So pretty. Okay, so next up on our to-do list, we are going to marinate some salmon. I found this marinade on Pinterest. I'll link it down below. It's titled best salmon marinade ever. So kind of a bold statement. So we're going to see how it is. I'm very excited and I thought we could marinate it now so it'll be like nice and ready for dinner. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> I have all my ingredients. Let's do this. A fourth cup of olive oil. Oh, I need that. A third <laughs> a third cup of soy sauce. This is gonna take forever to pour in here. I already know. Oh, maybe not. I love soy sauce though. I always like drench my sushi in soy sauce. A tablespoon of brown sugar. I actually had like really stale brown sugar. So I put one of those brown sugar bears in here and it softened it up. But like it is all like the brown sugar is all attached to this. It's kind of funny. You're going to just kind of loosen up all this brown sugar here. All sticking to this little bear. But this is a really great hack if you have a bunch of like really stale brown sugar. I bought it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can remember. One tablespoon of brown sugar. One tablespoon of honey. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. I would prefer fresh squeezed lemon juice, but I don't have any, so this will do. I will say this is like a little bit more sour than regular lemon juice. A tablespoon of parsley. We should have a tablespoon. It's kind of a lot. Whatever. It's like all stuck to this because of the honey and the lemon juice. That is gross. Four cloves of garlic. I have the Prevence garlic. I love garlic, so no such thing as too much garlic. Am I right? Maybe, depending on the recipe. And then we're gonna mix that up. And then it says to taste it and then see if you need like salt and pepper. I mean, a good little stir. Oh, it also said lemon zest, but I don't have any lemon zest. I don't have a zester and I don't have any lemons. We're gonna taste it. It doesn't really taste like anything. We'll just do some salt and pepper. Honestly, it's pretty salty, so I don't think I'm gonna add any more salt because I'm not a big salt person. I know that like salt just like brings out flavors, but like I always just taste the salt. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the salmon, put them in Ziploc bags, and then pour some of this marinade over them. Uh, I'm not gonna show that because I don't know if people get grossed out by salmon. So, you know, just trying to save everyone from their raw. Just, wait, what? I was trying to like put the... <laughs> That's for the olive oil. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we will do that and then we're gonna go to editing. We're starting on our dinner tonight. I'm making a sweet potato kale salad with like an, a creamy avocado dressing with the salmon. So I already chopped up two sweet potatoes. I will link this recipe and the marinade for the salmon down below. There is measurements, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. So some olive oil, some thyme, rosemary. It's getting everywhere. Garlic powder, I'm probably gonna do like extra garlic powder because you know me, garlic girl. Onion powder. That was a lot of crap. I didn't feel like cranking my salt and pepper, so I found some salt. That was probably so much salt. Yikes. Ooh, pepper. I kind of want to do some more rosemary. It's just like not really coming out. And some more thyme. Okay, I thought what I could do instead of mixing it is put the lid on this and then shake it like how the Kardashians do for the salads. Why am I out of breath? Oh, that worked so well. Oh, it smells so good. Yummy. So it looks like we are going to bake this at three, no, 425 for 18 minutes. I think that I want to make the dressing next, so it's like an avocado dressing. Very curious about it. Just spent like 30 minutes looking for some cumin. That was an exaggeration, it was definitely not 30 minutes. Okay, so we are using our handy dandy little blender that everyone tells me that I need to get a nicer one. 
I get it. I get it. I take your feedback and I just don't feel like paying for it if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, so we are starting with one avocado. I have two. This one feels like it's more ready. One avocado is going in there. Ripe means like ready to eat, right? It doesn't mean like hard. Right? This is right. Ooh, this is a pretty avocado. Avocado haul. I might use avocado tomorrow on my bagel instead of cream cheese because I have the extra avocado. And everyone's always being like, Keegan, you should use avocado. So you know what? I might. I just never have like ripe. Is it ripe? Who knows? I just never have a ready avocado, you know? Okay, after that, we are going to do one juice lemon, which is about three tablespoons. And again, we're going to use the pretty squeeze stuff. About three tablespoons. This little cutie thing that my mom got me. It's like tiny. Look at it compared to my head. Three tablespoons. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Incoming. And then we're gonna do three fourths of water. This is a fourth cup, so we're just gonna do three of these. So I'll be over here if you need me. Fun fact, four tablespoons is a fourth cup of water. The more you know. Did anybody do gallon guy in elementary school? Do you know what I'm talking about? If you do, the girls that get it, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, three tablespoons of water in there. And then two tablespoons of olive oil. This is actually really convenient. I really like this. Thanks, mom. Okay, that's like two and a half. Do you think, oh my God, think I can pour it back in here? That was a sleigh. How many times do I think I've said slay in this video? A lot. And then one clove of garlic. I think I'm going to throw this garlic away after this. I have another one in there. This one is just hanging on by its last thread. If this is more than a clove, mm, so be it. And then half a teaspoon of salt and then a fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Whoa, I almost just spilt the garlic everywhere. That would have been so bad. Mm -hmm. Cue men. Cue the men. Haha. <laughs> Get it? It was spicy smelling. And then we're gonna do a fourth of salt and a fourth of pepper. I just like don't feel like cranking it. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt because that's what I have. And it's pink. It's cute. And I think it's supposed to be healthy, you know? Okay, sprinkling that in there. And then we are going to blend this bad boy up. Let's hope it goes well. If it doesn't go well, then, it, you know, we'll be bad. I feel like this is going to be really watery. It is really liquidy. It's good. It's just like... You know what? Should I add the other avocado? This could go really well or really bad. We are risking it. I just want it to be like creamier. I thought it'd be like a thicker dressing. It's very watery. Taking the seed out. Mm, yes. I don't know how this is going to be with the other avocado, but I can only imagine it will thicken it up, you know? And like it's an avocado dressing. I'm not trying to make double. We'll see how this goes. Wait, cast your votes right now. Do you think it's going to go really well or do you think it's going to go really bad? Don't know. I'm hoping well. I'm going to say well because whoa. I just dropped half the avocado on the counter. Love that. That was also a really pretty avocado. Normally Trader Joe's kind of has ugly avocados, but not this week. I always like to do like a little. Oh, that is so much thicker. Oh, did I just get it? Oh, dang it, guys. I just got in like the little, the little seed topper. There's not a ton of flavor. Oh, I got avocado all over me. It's all over my shirt. There is like not a ton of flavor to it, which I think is to be expected considering the fact that I doubled the main ingredient. I don't hate it. I don't want to blend it anymore. I really like the consistency of it, but maybe we'll add some more salt, pepper, and cumin. Just like a little bit, do you think? No, actually, no, that, no. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to quit while I am ahead, which is something I rarely ever do. So I'm going to put the salmon in the air fryer on the salmon setting, and I'm going to massage the kale, because you're supposed to like massage kale, you know, kale being treated better than I am, with some olive oil and then some salt and maybe some lemon juice while the salmon is going because the air fryer just like makes the most annoying sound in the entire world and I just like don't want you guys to have to hear it. I will come back to you when hopefully everything is ready to go. Ooh. Oh, it's split. I might have put way too much dressing on the salad and then initially I was going to put the salmon in the salad. Then I was like, hmm, I do not know if a soy sauce seasoned salmon is going to taste good in like some avocado kale salad. We're going to try everything separately and then we'll decide if they'll taste good together. A bite of the salmon, it just came out of the air fryer. <laughs> I don't really taste the marinade that much. Okay, I'm gonna mix this all up. What's funny is when I started making this, I was like starving. Like I was like hangry and now I'm not even that hungry. <laughs> like why does that always happen? Like by the time I'm done making my food, I'm like, I'm not even hungry. This looks bomb. Okay, so this is literally just kale and sweet potato and the dressing. I have some kale, I have some sweet potato, obviously some dressing. The dressing really does not have that much flavor to it. I feel like the salmon could go in this because salmon doesn't taste very... It maybe tastes like a little smoky. I'm gonna... 
shred the salmon on my plate and we're gonna add it screw it I hope this is good a little bit of everything I wish I wouldn't have done that not that it's not good but like I really can't taste the salmon it's kind of a flop <laughs> I mean it's not bad it's just not as like groundbreaking as I thought it would be Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Woo! I am really tired today. I always feel like on Friday, I'm just like exhausted. But I went to gym this morning and then I just dropped off a package at the post office and I got gas and we need to start like getting today going. I also want to go to Target and then get some command strips to hang that photo. I'm really nervous to hang it myself, but like, well, it'll be fine. It's going to work out. But I do need to finish editing my video. I didn't finish editing it yesterday, but I do need to finish it today. That's really all I got for you guys right now. Not too much going on this morning. <laughs> oh, is that completely out of focus the whole time? You're kidding. Let me just say, I am so proud of myself because I have done every single thing on my to-do list so far. And that rarely ever happens. Ever. Like, recently, I just feel like I've been so unmotivated that, like, I'll push things off to the next day. I'm doing things when I say I'm gonna do them, and I'm not pushing them off till later time. I mean, this maybe was, like, a little pushing off, but I did anticipate that I was gonna edit it today. But I don't know. I'm just really happy. I'm, like, feeling very proud of myself this week. And I think a lot of it is, like, coming from, like, the motivation, but I'm just, I'm doing good. I'm thriving. Maybe I'm not thriving, but I'm excelling in different parts of my life and it's making me feel very proud, accomplished, and good about myself. It is lunchtime and we're going to make the same kale salad again. I'm gonna have the salmon on the side. I had marinated two pieces of salmon, so I don't know if you can hear the sizzling in the background. It's like I just made the salmon in the air fryer and I've been waiting for the air fryer to go off so I can film this clip of me preparing the salad because I am going to elevate it. So I already did like the little salmon massage, not the salmon massage, no, 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 no. This sounds like it would be a dance move, salmon massage. I already did the kale massage with olive oil, lemon juice, and salt. And so we're gonna add in our sweet potatoes. I just heated it up in the microwave. Beautiful. I remembered that I have these almonds. I got them like in a Hello Fresh meal and I never, you know, finished them. So a nice little crunch. And then I remember that I have feta and I love feta. I'm actually gonna do the dressing first and then we're gonna add the feta. Cause I think like the dressing, wait. Okay, there we go. I got it open. I was like, if I can get it open. I love a little sprinkle of feta on the top. Okay. Oh. Mm. I lost flavor, but it's still good. Great consistency. So I'm gonna add salt and pepper because the dressing just needs more. And then I'm gonna add like a little sprinkle of cumin because there's cumin in the dressing. And so I think like maybe adding a little bit more could bring out some more flavor. And then you know what? We'll we'll do a little drizzle of lemon juice in there. Okay, I don't wanna like overdo the cumin, so I'm like gonna reach my fingers in there. Like a little. Should I do more? It's better to underdo it than overdo it. And the thing about me is I either underdo it or overdo it. I never do the right amount. I'm gonna mix it up, but this is what it looks like. Mix it up, get the nice dressing coated on everything. And then we're gonna add our feta. I love cheese. I've been trying to like hold back on eating cheese and dairy because of my skin, obviously. But I did eat like cheese and dairy when my skin was really clear. So part of me is like, it's not the problem then. <laughs> okay, that might've been too much. I love crumbly cheese. Yum. There we go. Okay, should we try it? That is so much better. I think the cumin really helped. Added a lot of flavor. I'm happy with this. And then I have my salmon in the air fryer. I'm gonna put it on this plate because I don't feel like washing another one. This is just from the sweet potato that I heated up in the microwave. And we're gonna eat it. Low key, this is beautiful. Slay. Oh my God, I end every single clip with slay. Take a shot every time I say slay, you'll be drunk. Just kidding, don't do it. Don't go to the hospital. Okay guys, we are going to Target. We're gonna get command strips to hang up that picture. And then we're gonna get in and we're gonna get out. I don't wanna be there for too long. I love Target, but I'm just like not in the mood to be running errands but i do really want to hang that picture so we'll see okay let's do this we're going in let's hope it doesn't take too long i actually think i might get this whoa what about this one i think i'm gonna get this one instead because it's a bigger frame Yet. I like 
it. I like it a lot. I wanted to hang it low because it's kind of a low profile couch. I think I hung it too low though. Oh god. The thing about me is a lot of times I'm like, I'm just gonna keep it, I'm gonna sleep on it, and I'll change it later, and then I never end up changing it. I would like to move it like this much taller. Um, I think it is too low. Like maybe just like but just like a little higher would have been nice. I don't think I'm gonna change it for now, but it is up. Yeah, it is definitely way too low. Oh god, this is actually really bothering me. I wish it was like this slightest bit taller, like an inch. I think I'm gonna try to take it off and put it back on. No, it is really stuck on there. Like if I take it off, I'm gonna have to like completely redo command strips. I'm not feeling that. That's not that's not the move for today. Maybe another day. I would like for it to be taller. Yeah, it's actually really bothering me how low it is. Should we fix it? Nah. I wonder if I could save these. I don't think they're gonna be as sticky now, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna give it a go. Kind of risky. <laughs> This weighs like not even three pounds and this is not real glass, so if it falls, it won't be painful. <laughs> I think it's level too. Maybe not perfect, but pretty close. That's a lot better. I like that a lot. Like it's still low, which is what I wanted it, but it's not like very low. I actually really like this a lot. What do you guys think? I think she's pretty. Obviously the couch is a mess, but I think it's pretty. I'm going to fix the couch up a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. Because I'm still, is this just like all my butt in the shot? Hmm. It's a good video and half of it is my ass. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. L-O-L. Let's see if we like it. I'm gonna take a step back. I do really like it. I think my living room is done being decorated. The one thing that kind of bothers me is you can kind of see that like the pictures rolled a little bit. Do you see how you can kind of see those like vertical lines from the way it was shipped? You can kind of see it a little bit, but like the glare is kind of in the way. Oh, do you see it right there? Like kind of up there? But I'm sure over time that'll get better, or at least I hope. I will link all of my living room stuff down below for you guys. I was not in the mood to make my bed today, so I deeply apologize, but I could not have gone through that whole hassle of the Mario Foundation and not shown you guys. We're doing a first impression. So I have plans tonight. I'm gonna go to downtown Phoenix with one of my friends and we're going to check out the bars there. She lives over there. I live in like Scottsdale if you guys don't know. So we typically like go out here, but we were like, let's try downtown Phoenix. I'm very excited for that. So I have just doing like a tiny bit of this tartless, tartless hat. <laughs> Tart time Ugh. words are hard. Timeless smoothing primer. It might match. It honestly might. Also, I'm not a beauty guru. We know that. I'm gonna zoom in. So this is what my skin looks like right now. Yeah, this is just the reality of life. Ooh, one pump. A good amount comes out. Okay, I'm kind of nervous, and I'm not putting anything like on under this. We're gonna see how this covers my acne. So if you guys have acne, this is how it goes. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, that covered really well. Okay, so you can still see like kind of it peeking through here, but like this stuff, pretty good. We're gonna do the other side, which undoubtedly has kind of more little spots like that, but we're gonna try it with a damp beauty sponge, which a damp beauty sponge like picks up more the product, so I expect this side to have, I was gonna say less coverage, but. Whoa. This is really good coverage. So this is like medium to buildable from my understanding, which like, yeah, this room is so dark right now. There's like no lighting, like definitely in the center of my face. You can still like see my breakouts through, but this has really good coverage and it doesn't look heavy. Like this already is beating the foundation that I've been using for the past three years now. Okay, Mario, not me flipping you guys off by accident. <laughs> I don't know which side I prefer, the sponge or the brush, because I'm kind of just, I guess I'm using the sponge, so I'm going to like pick up a little bit more. Oh my god, this is really good. Holy shit. Normally, I'm like putting on a ton of concealer. Like, I don't even really feel like I need to go into my NARS concealer, maybe like here. But if I really wanted to, should I do like another, I don't know if I should do another layer, but whatever. Normally, I just do one layer of foundation and then just feel insecure, but I'm really liking this and it feels super lightweight wow oh my god what do you guys think obviously like i look kind of crazy i'm really happy with this i do feel like i look like a little i don't know, like cake face right now um maybe it's because i did do two layers but we'll you know add concealer contour bronzer and we'll bronze up the neck if we have to i'm really liking this i like am blown away like this just looks really natural okay we're gonna zoom back in this looks great 
obviously like some things are poking through but like it really like covered a lot in like one go i honestly want to get this as like my natural skin tone as well so all i have it is like my tanned color okay we're gonna use the kosas concealer this thing did crease on me like crazy yesterday so i'm gonna try to use a little bit less i also kind of want to like here and where my breakouts are that's how much we have going there i think the kosas concealer might be like the same shade as the foundation wow i feel like my makeup routine just like instantly got better and improved holy crap I feel really happy about this. I feel really confident. Like, a lot of the times when I've been putting on makeup, I just feel really sad afterwards because my skin... I've been, like, ranting about my skin this entire video, so I apologize. But this is great. I'm gonna do use that NARS concealer. Kind of just, like, pat it on my finger. Or with my finger. Just, like, on any kind of thing that's, like, really popping out to me. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish getting ready because I don't want this to be, like, too long of a clip. Because I did do a Get Ready With Me by accident in one weekly vlog. And it was, like, 90% of the vlog. Um, so I will get back to you when I'm done doing my makeup. Hopefully like this, I feel like this kind of doesn't really go with this, but we'll, we'll try to make it work. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me zoom out. I feel like it matches my body pretty well. Like, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good. I will say, I think that I put a little too much kind of, like, around this area of my face. I really like it. Like, obviously, when you have acne, your skin's not gonna be perfect. With makeup on, it's definitely not gonna be perfect without it, but I really do like it. Sometimes I'm like, do I need more blush? Every time I look at myself, I'm like, hmm. But I also used a new lip liner. I never do my lip, ever. Because I have a double lip line. I recently learned that's the term for it. I saw it on TikTok. So I never know where to line my lips if I line the outer or the inner. Inner, I feel like it looks too small. The outer, I feel like it looks like I'm like doing a horrible job job overlining it. I don't really know what I did. I think that I kind of went in between them, but on my lips, I first applied Benetint. Inevitably, this will come off. Like, let's just be honest. So I wanted to have like a base color on my lips for when it eventually rubs off for like when I'm drinking, when I'm eating. And then I put this lip liner over it. It's the Rare Beauty Lip Liner. It's the Kind Words Matter Lip matte lip liner this is in humble it's a beautiful shade the like gloss like the pretty like shiny over it aquaphor <laughs> also this is the mascara that was involved in all the controversy it's a great mascara my eyes look really blue here yeah <laughs> honestly i'm really happy i think this is my new favorite foundation this has replaced the foundation that i've been using for almost three years and i tried it once so i'll keep you guys updated in my vlogs if i like it but oh i just opened it by accident <laughs> but I really like it. This stuff, mwah. So for dinner, I'm trying to decide if I want to make dinner, if I want to get dinner. I already like got takeout this week. I don't know why, but I always eat like a chicken Caesar wrap before I go out. And I feel like that's like the perfect amount of food where it like it fills me up. So like I'm not too drunk. It doesn't make me feel bloated. And I kind of want it, but I also like all the lip stuff on, but I can always put it back on. I think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to go and go get it. So my other option is to make salmon and I don't have any more salmon marinated. Oh, that pasta salad could be my drunk food. Mm, th this is a good deal. So I can have this and then I can have the pasta salad as my drunk snack when I get home. Amazing. Because uh, I was like, Taco Bell also sounds good for like a drunk snack, but that will hit. I also think this lip liner that makes my teeth look more white. I'm sorry if I'm feeling like a little like narcissistic right now. The past couple times that I've been putting on makeup, I just haven't been like loving it or feeling myself because I just have been so insecure. I feel like this entire video has just been like me being insecure. Just a regular part of life. It happens. It goes in waves. Confidence is like this. It's a graph that goes like this. Sometimes it's, mm, you know, you know how it is. I don't know. But we're going to go get our chicken Caesar salad wrap. Let's do that. We're in line, just chilling, waiting. Ooh, I don't think I'm next, but. How can I help you? Hi, can I please do um, a chicken Caesar wrap with no tomatoes, please? Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Every $6.24. Thank you. That is my order from Salad and Goat for now. It always changes, but that's my order at the moment. I cannot wait to get this food. Woo! Okay, I'm home. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll say goodbye to you. Sad. Hmm. This is the outfit that I chose. I'm not kidding. I wear this outfit every single weekend. When it's winter, I just never know what to wear. So my Skims bodysuit, my Levi's jeans, Princess Polly jacket, and then my Steve Madden booties. When I say I wear this every weekend, I'm not kidding. I wear this exact outfit. I might change out the jeans for a pair with rips and that's about it. But I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.